Um, hi, everyone. Welcome to SAS Community Day Europe 2024. Thank you all for being here bright and early. Um, I am Catherine Druckmann. I am an open source security evangelist at Intel. And I also do some things with the OpenSSF. I'm very enthusiastic about this organization. Um, I'm going to be your MC though today. So, so uh, yeah, so let's, let, let's, let's get into it. Uh, before we get, begin the program though, I'd like to take care of a few housekeeping items. A quick reminder about our event code of conduct. All attendees should feel welcome and included. We take this seriously. So if you have any issues, please talk to our event staff immediately. Um, Oh, hey, that's me. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, we wanted to give a very special thank you to our event sponsors who make it possible for us to support our communities and run events just like this one. We are very grateful. Our platinum sponsor is GitLab, and we, th we thank everyone for their support, in particular GitLab. <laughs> um, to see the full schedule, please use the QR code available on your badges or on the monitor located outside the room. Um, also, you can check out your badge for the Wi-Fi SSID and password. Uh, we keep it simple. Um, and then I, I wanted to also give a big thank you to our new uh, OpenSSF members. We have a new premier member, that's Datadog. Anyone here from Datadog? No, okay. A few new general members, G Research, Hero Devs, looks droopily. Anybody here from Hero Devs? Uh, Key Factor, SigHub, uh, Protect AI. So yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, we, we really, uh, it's exciting to see the org grow and we appreciate the support. Um, so public sector. So the OpenSSF has been busy. Very busy in the past year, in fact. Uh, this slide shows some updates from working with public sector uh, groups. And this year we hosted our very first SAS policy summit in Europe, uh, in Brussels. Possibly the best part about getting to do the job of MC is getting to present this award. Very exciting. Uh, I, I am very honored to present our Golden Egg Award. So the OpenSSF Golden Egg symbolizes gratitude for an awardee's selfless dedication to securing open source projects through community engagement, engineering, innovation, and thoughtful leadership. Uh, today, we recognize Paolo Maynardi. Is Paolo by any chance in the room? Otherwise, I'm going to have to do that thing where I accept it on his behalf and thank everybody um, and wish I were as cool as Paolo. Uh, Paolo is the CTO of Spark Fabric, and we thank him again for his outstanding commitment to enhancing software supply chain security. And I will hang on to this for Paolo until I see him next. Um, so I would also, oh, I, yep, project update. Um, yeah, so. We have an, a few other updates. Uh, Bomb CTL is new to the organization. Zarf, the Zarf project, I believe that was donated by Defense Unicorns. Um, and there's an update that OpenSSF Scorecard has adopted All Star. Um, yeah, so we've got stuff going on all the time. Lots of activity in our working groups. I would also, again, be remiss if I did not tell you about the upcoming Sauce Fusion event. Uh, Sauce Fusion is going to be in the US. It is our premier open source, uh, open SSF event. It's the first time this has ever happened. It will be very exciting. We'll have some great uh, keynotes to announce soon. Uh, there will, I, I know firsthand that there will be very, very interesting sessions and I encourage everyone to join. I will be there and, and I know a, and a lot of other great, great people will be there. Um, I wanted to also highlight a few new ways to support the community. Uh, I have a, a slight bias here. I would like to draw special attention to the Marketing Advisory Council. We encourage your participation. <laughs> we love great marketing ideas uh, and technical ideas. All the rest is fantastic as well. Um, then, oh, well, this is great. One of my favorites. So I would like to point out that both Crobe and Omkar have done a fantastic job with the What's in the Sauce podcast. 
This QR code will, of course, direct you there. Uh, but they've had a lot of really great guests. I, even I've been one. Uh, it's, and also, they keep it short because time is valuable and none of us have enough of it. So, so they're doing a really fantastic job. I would encourage everyone to please check that out. Um, I think that's it. Cool. Well, before we get to our new, oh, you know what? I'm going to leave this QR code up for a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, so I, I just wanted to say a few things. Um, I'll pull that up. Uh, so again, we have some fantastic talks. I gave you a little quick preview of one of them just now, and I'm really excited to experience them all with you. Uh, but before we get started, I wanted to take another minute just to thank you all for being here. Um, like with many things in life, I think showing up is showing up is half the battle. And by joining this event today, I think you've signaled that not only you care about advancing open source security, but you're also committed to being an active participant. And I think that's really important. Um, and we've all come here today with a, a lot of diverse backgrounds and a lot of different paths to where we, where we are today. But ultimately, I think we all have our open source and maybe open source security origin stories, kind of like superheroes, but without capes. Um, <laughs> Some of us, I think, arrived here through altruism. Uh, some maybe by mandate. Somebody told you you had to care about security. But I bet a fair number of you came the, the old-fashioned way, which I like to think of as fear. <laughs> yeah, so way, way back before I ever even started maintaining uh, software release to the community, I got my start in web development many, many years ago. I found myself managing a few uh, web publications of varying traffic levels and significance and visibility. Um, when a piece of open source software had a vulnerability, I was generally pretty good about updating it pretty quickly, right? Um, and I generally had the sense to do that quickly, and things were generally just fine. Uh, but along came a particularly nasty vulnerability. The buzz surrounding it was a bit scary. And I quickly learned that the bug was actively being exploited out in the wild. And I got my site pat my sites patched, or so I thought. <laughs> but uh, the problem was that I had neglected to fully update a group of microsites that was also under my responsibility. So lacking the necessary knowledge uh, or comfort level or experience, at, at that time anyway, I felt like too much time had passed. and. Uh, I couldn't really be sure that the sites hadn't been compromised, and it, maybe there was a ticking time bomb in there, which actually was the nature of the vulnerability. So long story short, since we have a lot of other people's really great stories, um, I burned them all down. Burned them to the ground. I mean, I backed up the stuff I needed. Burned them all to the ground. And I vowed that day that I would level up my security knowledge. And that is what I'm doing here with all of you. Um, so, you know, this organization has audacious goals. We've met some, and we continue to work on others. And I have high hopes, but ultimately it's going to take all of us, I think, that to ensure that we get ahead of these challenges and rise to the occasion. Um, so thank you all for being part of your own origin stories and being part of our collective origin stories. <laughs>